But today, through your Holy Spirit, renew his mind, renew his spirit, renew his body. He's the man we need in these terrible times. Times of war, destruction, trouble around the world. But Father, I remember a bumper sticker on a senior citizen's car that said, I may be slow, but I'm in front of you. Use our president. Use his experience. Use his handicaps. And be glorified in his life. In Jesus' name. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, guys, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, so there's something we all had suspected when Mr. Biden had a 12-day hiatus. Nobody knew he was going. And um, one of these CNN anchors let the cat out the bag. He goes through six days of preparation. A camp David. More than that. And they know the rules. It was more than a week. Okay, they, and so more than a week. They know the rules. He practices with the mics. He knows every one of these questions is coming. And yet he couldn't fill the time. Now, they, I, I just want to, let's see what the White House is saying. Sources close to the White House are saying he had a cold, wasn't feeling well. I mean, as you would expect, that came out early on in the debate. But what accounts for someone with so much experience doing so much I, preparation I think, and this I being think, the outcome? Honestly, I think the question answers itself. He wasn't capable of doing any better than he did. Yeah. So Mr. Biden, we believe he had the notes. He had the questions prehand. He had an open book test and he failed. He failed miserably. But not only that, he goes on an apology tour and try to uh, stop the bleeding. And he's now doing radio interviews, not in the studio, but phone call interviews. And so he went to uh, WURD, the word, Woo! in Philadelphia. And here's a snippet. By the way, I'm proud to be, as I said, the first vice president, first black woman, mm -hmm. served with a black president. Mm -hmm. I'm proud to have all the first black woman in the Supreme Court. There's just so much that we can do because together, we, there's nothing. Look, this is the United States of America. Yes, yes. Mr. Biden, the old white man, identify himself as a black woman. You can't make this stuff up. So, CNN, I believe that CNN, you know, they, they're kind of tired of Biden and they're trying to turn the corner. And even Keith Oberman tried to call him out. It was an extraordinary event. CNN not just let Trump lie. They let him slander the president of the United States repeatedly. They let him lie about every aspect of his own presidency. They let him lie about his coup. They let him lie about January 6th. They let him lie about his goddamn golf scores. <laughs> calm down, Keith, calm down. We know CNN is just doing it for the views. They're not that serious. But they're trying to uh, cover their ass, so to say. And so... CNN put this black anchor here, call out these two black radio hosts that interviewed uh, Mr. Biden, and they asked Miss uh, WRD here, they asked her this question. Were those questions given to you by the White House or did you have, or the campaign, or did you have to submit questions ahead of this interview? The questions were sent to me for approval. I approved of them. Okay, so the White House sent the questions to you ahead of the interview. 
Yes. Okay. I, I got several questions, eight yeah. of them, and the four that were chosen were the ones that I approved. Okay. So there she goes, trying to be candid and trying to answer the question truthfully. And you know what the radio WRD in Philadelphia did? They fired a strong black woman. <gasps> mm-hmm. A word radio host is leaving the station after a controversial interview with President Biden. Andrea Lawful Sanders admitted to asking questions provided beforehand by Biden's campaign. Effective immediately, I am no longer an on-air host at WURD. There you go. There you go. CNN, I believe, set her up. The way he asked that question was kind of a... Uh, and the reason I ask is not a criticism of either view. It's just that if the White House is trying now to prove the um, the vim, vigor, acuity of the president, I don't know how they do that by sending questions first before the interview so that the president knows what's coming. During the debate, y'all gave Biden the questions beforehand because your anchor admitted it. Week. They know the rules. He practices with the mics. He knows every one of these questions is coming. It's hard for me to believe that the producer of the radio show in a black liberal radio show in Philadelphia didn't know this was going to happen. All right. Woo! They all are in it for Biden. This is not a uh, um, independent thinking radio station. It's lean to the left. President and CEO Sarah Lomax confirmed Lawful Sanders' departure from the Black-owned talk radio station. Lomax said the interview was arranged and negotiated without the knowledge of management and, quote, violates our practice of remaining an independent media outlet. Lomax went on to say word radio is not a mouthpiece for the Biden or any other administration. So there you go. The radio station threw the strong black woman under the bus. I hope Philadelphia, I hope y'all remember this, okay? Brotherly love, you cannot question the king. You cannot expose the king. You cannot tell everybody the king is naked. We all see the king is naked, but you still got to play along. And so this happens to the black woman. Whole thing. <clears throat> so Mr. Biden, we see that you're defiant and you're not stepping down. Good, good for you. Now, July 21st is a very important date, guys. Once that day goes over, Mr. Biden is cemented. He's going to be the nominee, and it's too late for them to switch horses, right? So, Fox News, do me a favor. STFU, okay? Let this ride. Mr. Trump, Mr. Trump, you know, I respect you, but, sir... Do not egg him on. All right, please don't egg him on. Give him 14 more days. July 21st, once it's seen minute, they can't switch horses. And then you could come out and pound them. All right. But till then, act, act brand new. All right. Act like nothing's going on. He's the best candidate. He is the best candidate. All right. So Fox News, News Woo! Nation, Newsmax. STFU. Don't talk about this anymore until July 22nd. All right. Please and thank you. <laughs> if you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you old men, get off my lawn.